down here. Yeah, I think you can see it. Hey. <laughs> I have to check my viewer because a lot of times I've got it and can't even see what's going on. So I try to get it where you can watch what's going on with the digging here. It's a good trashy zone right here. There's a Vaseline bottle. Pretty common here. Vaseline chest bro. I think we got down to the bottom. There's a whole bunch of this iron stuff and crusted and bricks and that down on the bottom. Hey, there's a soda. All right. Clinton Bottling Works. Yay. Nice Clinton Bottling Works. Clear one. All right. Got an awful one earlier today. I hope Paul's getting some stuff. He's kind of paying his dues for, for the next time. Next time he digs, he'll be set up for it. So. <clears throat> little amber slick. Pretty little amber hand-blown medicine bottle. See down there in that bottom, there's not much there. Like real hard stuff, ashes. I'll probably try to hammer down in there anyway, but there's a big chunk of iron right in here. So I'm going to have to use a sledgehammer and bust through that. So let's get what we can here. We're probably not going to be here much longer. Yeah. Where that groundhog was in here. Yeah, see that's all caving in. That might be dug. I might have dug in that area there. Almost looks like it. Let's see what's over here. This is a dug though for sure. Oh, there's another jug. <laughs> Not here, but right over here. There's a little William Warner medicine. William Warner and Company, Philadelphia, St. Louis. All right. This little medicine bottle. I don't know if you can see that. If that's in the viewer or not. I'm going to bring the camera down in here, I think. Sorry if it makes you dizzy here. I don't mean to. Let me get this set up right here. See a little jug in there. Get a white one while ago. Extend the legs down a little bit on this tripod here. I kind of try to keep it out of the way. Let's see if this will work. I'm not sure. You can see what I was talking about right up in here. This is, looks like it's been dug. And there was a hole over here that I had dug. So that's probably groundhogs taking up residence in there after that. But been starting right about in here you can tell it's not dug and of course I pulled a jug out right here so and there's another one obviously I wouldn't have left that so so let's see let's see if that was whole brick underneath it there see that brown rusty stuff right there that's not dug see this here where it's loose all one color it's been disturbed that's how you can tell area that's been dug like that whether it's a dump or whether it's privy and it doesn't hurt that there's a jug right here obviously nobody would have left that so. so let's get around it here if we can. there it comes it's like another oh it's got the handle broke off of that one doesn't it oh well Somebody might want that one. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see. I'm going to send that one out to somebody if they want to make a flower planter out of it or something. Oh, there was a top to another one. <clears throat> Bigger one. Birds are singing. Boy, they're all out here trying to get them worms, fishing worms. Well, I guess it ain't fishing worms to them. It's food. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to have to move the camera here. Some broken jugs in there. A lot of bricks and stuff like that in there. All right, well, I'm going to set up a little different. Well, I'll tell you what, let me just move right into this area right here. Yep, 
singing us a little song there. Hey there. Pretty bird. Let's see the birds. Let the birds sing for a little bit a lot better than hearing me. Double ring collar, like a medicine. I'll go down here and get that one. Hand digger. Oh, it's probably a cold rose. Yep. Paul got one of these earlier called well syrup pepsin. This little hand blown one. Mold seam fades out before it gets to the top there. Alright. That would have been an Ayers hair vigor. It's the Ayers on the bottom. Ooh, something down here like that. Hey, that's square. Ooh. Oh, it's got the top broke on. It looks like a bigger square amber. I already see the broken top though. What was it? Oh, it was. Oh, it was a Rex. <laughs> Rex kidney liver bitters. The best laxative and blood purifier. Oh, that would have been nice. But maybe there's more. Maybe there's more. Okay, let me get adjusted here. There's a little spot here. There's another little food bottle there. Machine-made one, old one, semi-automatic machine-made. See the mold seams come up and then it goes. Whoops, here it is. It comes up and then it goes around. Comes up there. All right. Three bottle there. Ooh, two or three bottles in there. <laughs> Another food bottle there. There's a olive bottle. Olives, that's an old one though. Oh, it's an H.J. Hines. That's kind of unusual actually. It's hand blown. Nice uh, H.J. Hines Company olive bottle. You don't see those very often. Oh, it's got a crack in it, unfortunately, but yeah, nice bottom embossed one there. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. There's a stopper off of something. Like a clone or a barber type bottle. And a crown is pretty bad shape. But, oh, I might be able to salvage it and put in something. Try to salvage everything we can. Just a little bit of in here. Man, I'm probably gonna have to clean some out here. Go up and check on Paul. Jar lid liner. Another square. A little shoe polish bottle there. Nothing on it. Okay, time to time to clean out. And back to Paul. He's down in there about seven feet now. Maybe a little bit. In fact, more than that, because Paul's six feet tall. See when he comes yeah, up I here. Yeah, finally hit that rust trash area down here. Oh man! But there's a bottle sticking out. Way down there. Yeah, he's about eight foot down. Clinton bottling works. Hey, all right. <laughs> yeah. It's a little rough. He just he pulled out a broken hutch a while ago. You don't know what it was, just the bottom. Yep, nice Clinton bottling works. And blown. 
I'm just getting into the goodies there. A couple of them broken mineral water bottles. Oh yeah, yeah, mineral water here, one of them green ones. <laughs> Big old deep hole. Throw the dirt up and over the pile there. A lot of work. Yeah, a lot of bricks, but they're coming out. Yeah, pile of bricks there you just hit. Crusted something, slag or something looks like there. Yeah, not very exciting here yet. Yeah. All right, well, we'll, we'll come back and get something. We're probably only going to dig for another half hour or something like that. So if we Paul have time to hit something there. Yeah. You can sure see the layers of ash down through there. We did hit some bottles up in that little top layer there. Yeah, there's about a foot and a half of just building rubble. Oh. But underneath that is the beginning of a trash layer. That's the bottle, yeah. But next time we'll see what's here, I guess. That's right. Got it set up good for next time. All right. Get through all that stuff. Well, we'll come back if he hits anything here. Ugh. Knees are getting tired. There's a bucket of stuff I got brought up. Keepers. Coming down the hill here. Beautiful day. We should bring you all along with us. We try to through our videos anyway. Few more just to hit amber like a wine bottle there amber color and lid to a tobacco jar and a little ironstone butter pat Whew, yep getting tired but got a couple down in there so I'll hop down in there and try to set the camera up here okay get down in here Maybe one last round here. Get a bottle right up in here. Let's see if we can get that one out. It's oval like a lady of Pinkham's. Kind of stuck in some iron there. Oh yeah, there it comes. Yeah, Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound. Common bottle, but nice. Nice old hand blown one. there. I'm going to have to work on that. Get down here and see if there's anything else. I'll stay right down here close to the bottom. There's a wee little bottle. A little glue bottle or something. Clear. Clear bottle. There's another one sticking out of the side wall there. And that's another slick druggist. Plenty of those. Lots of those. There's a the plate there. Oh, there's a bottle. Oh, it's like a Cestershire sauce bottle, but it's totally a slick. Nothing on it. Not a thing. And there's another bottle right behind that one. A little jar. That's one of them little. One's with a 1903 patent date on it or something. Beef jar, jelly jar. Into some bricks. Into the amber bottle. Quits built. Something way down in there. Amber bottle, a hand blown bottle. Yeah, 
couple bottles sticking out in there. It looks pretty good. Might, uh, might bring the camera down in here. I'll go ahead and clean it out. Then I'll bring the camera down in the hole here. We can see this a little bit better, maybe. All right, here we go again. A little group of bottles down in here. Let's start at the very bottom. There's a piece of tile there, but there's a bottle right next to it there. Let's see if we can get that one out of there. all over in here. There's one here, 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 and here. <laughs> That's awesome. There's another one. <laughs> into a little pocket of bottles there. There's another one. <laughs> They're just falling out now. <laughs> Woohoo! That's fun. There's a little slick druggist. See what this one is. It's about to come out. It's like a liquor bottle, wine bottle, or something. Yeah, nice old wine bottle. Got some iridescence on it. Pretty. Yeah, green hand blown wine. Yeah. I think this is a tile over here. Let's get that out. Let's see what that is. It's kind of odd shaped one. Yeah, I've seen these before in here. It's kind of Got a flat bottom, rounded, very unusual tile, unique. I don't know if it's got a name on it, but I might keep that one. Just very unusual, flat bottom on it. All right, let's get into here and see what else we got. Try to stay on this bottom as much as possible. Work ourselves up. There was a, something was broken there, remember? There's one here. Broke. There's an amber one here. Let's get that one out. Ooh, it's a blob beer. Yeah, it's embossed. McAvoy Malt Marrow, Chicago. Yep. Nice ball. We'll get over here. We'll probably see a little better, huh? Yeah, McAvoy Malt Marrow. See, it's got the embossing on the bottom. All right. I dug one in for a little while. Yeah, right on the bottom there's a lot of rocks and crusted iron. Right, going right down to it, I don't want to miss anything. Sometimes there's bottles right on that bottom. There's one there, it's broken. It's all smashed up. We're going to work ourselves up here a little bit. Big rock. Wow. Well, that might be a, might be a geode. Yeah, I might have to keep that one. That looks like maybe a geode. Sometimes you here in Illinois and ugly looking rocks, you crack them open, they're full of crystals. Another drugstore bottle. Alright. Okay, the ongoing saga here of the Jug Dump Dig. Jug Dump Dig, hard, hard to say. Oh, there's a little bottle. A little shoe polish bottle, clear. Here's a couple of them more just dug here a while ago. There's a little hand blown. It's got a crown top, but it's probably like a wine bottle. And got a couple other slicks over there. Forgot to show them, but. Oh, I see a. No, it's broken. Jug or something up in there. Ah, real hard packed stuff there. Yeah, we're just about ready to go. So let's see if we can pull out another bottle or two. There's one up in the top there. Big one up the whiskey or something. Yeah, it's a big whiskey. Oh, and it's a slick. 
first whiskey I think I'm dug today. It's kind of unusual. You should dig a lot of whiskey bottles here. Nice old hand blown one. Anything else in here? Let's see. Oh, there's a lid, jar lid. Jar lid for a lightning jar. Maybe there'll be a lightning jar in here. I had an aqua lid, maybe it's an amber jar, huh? Yellow green, real weird color. <laughs> And you ship strong here today. Oh, there's a enema tip or a douche tip or whatever you call them things. Butt plug. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's what they are. Hot water bottle. Enema tip. Maybe. Oops. Sorry to book the camera there. Alright. Get these bricks out of here. In the top there. Oh, it's another Castoria. Boy, it's been a day of Castorias, hasn't it? Yeah. Reminiscing back in the 70s, there was a guy named Ghost Town Bernie. I uh, lived out west someplace, and he was advertising for wanting Castorias and was going to build a house out of them. And I think I mentioned that once before. Somebody said that he actually did build a house out of Castoria bottles, but I would love to see that because I sent him a whole bunch of them. There was a, it's got the top chip, but a real cute little pepper sauce bottle. That's a neat one. But yeah, Ghost Town Bernie. Whatever become of him. If anybody knows, you know, drop us a line on. Now that thing has had a rough life now. All that bottle. <laughs> oh, there's a couple more sticking out. Wait, oh, that one's broke. No, I'm tunneling too much here. I'm going to have to dig off to the sides. Oh, it's hard stuff. Ain't going through that with a little scratcher. Rough stuff. All right, let me show right up in here. There's a broken jug here, but it looks like there's a bottle sticking out there. Better move that castor. You don't want nothing to happen to that now, do we? There's a bottle way up here. Way up here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Gotta get it before it, something falls in on it. Oh, a big tall bottle. Oh, it's got a hole in the corner. It was a it was all broken anyway. It's a Dr. Pierce's favorite prescription is what it was. Whoops. Sorry, I get down here in my camera. It's not very good camera work. I apologize for that. Alright, let's get back over here. Back got sidetracked there. Brown jug there. Ooh, big wide mouth one too, with a big pour spout type lip. Like a molasses jug, that'd have been nice. There's a, there's a little bottle. Oh, it's a slick. Looks like a royal purple or a Welch's grape juice. Probably a generic grape juice bottle. Ooh, need some trash there again. Looks good. That's broken. Check on Paul one more time. Oh, there's a bottle. A little medicine. Hey, Chamberlain's. Chamberlain's pain balm. Dug two Chamberlain's colic, collar, and diarrhea remedies. Last dig. Chamberlain's pain balm out of Des Moines, Iowa. Alright, let's see. Let's hang right up in here. Trickle there, like fixing to fall down or something. I better, yeah, I better get ready here. Well, thank you for waiting till the very end. We got through our dig, and poor Paul, he got down there to the bottom. There wasn't a very big layer, but you never know. He didn't get it all finished, so it may get thicker, bigger, you know, layer maybe in the next time. So. But anyway, I got things cleaned up. I didn't get Paul's stuff in on it. I didn't have time, so I just wanted to 
get this video finished up because we got a lot more digging coming so hang in there <laughs> all right I'll show a few things we got here uh, this first one's an interesting uh, balming fluid bottle United States Chemical Company New York Chicago and as I was stating when I dug it it does has an unusual uh, Phoenix top it's like a square ring type some people refer to them as t-tops but uh, anyway it's a hand-blown bottle old embalming fluid from the United States Chemical Company and this one actually is from the last dig I just forgot to include it in there I'd had a bucket of bottles that I didn't get cleaned up but on the bottom of it said IO Saline Company New York and that was like a um, oh like a iodine and it has a nice glass stopper you can see ground ground stopper so yeah it was for rheumatism and pain that probably is a disinfectant it's iodine related a little tiny PD and Company bottle, but it's got some pretty iridescence on it. PD and Company on the bottom, Park Davis out of Detroit. And that noise was not me passing gas, that was just our our Eurig, Eurig machine. Oh, I think that's what them call. Anyway, Paul got that for us. <laughs> Makes coffee, coffee machine. Eurig, I don't remember what they're called, I'm sorry. Anyway, there's my diamond. Shelly hasn't seen it yet, so anyway, we might make a ring out of it, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably a big quartz crystal. It's pretty neat, though. Somebody thought enough of it to hang on to it, so. All right. Well, that was a little keeper. And a Chamberlain's Pain Balm. Last time I got a Chamberlain's Colic Collar and Diarrhea Remedy, and this time, Chamberlain's Pain Balm. There's the Colic Collar and Diarrhea Remedy. You can see it's a little bit smaller bottle. But both from the same company. Chamberlain's out of Des Moines, Iowa. Sanford's Inks and Library Paste. A little small size one. Hand blown bottle. A little sample size Dr. King's New Discovery. And that was for consumption or for coughs and colds. H.E. Buckland out of Chicago. And we've got a nice hand-blown vinyl cod liver oil bottle with 1898 patent on the bottom of that one. It's one of the older ones. It's hand-blown. I actually got two of those. This one come from the last time too. Seeps Chicago. Dug two of those. Property of Conrad's Seep Brewing Company Chicago. This is kind of weird. It's ironstone and I thought it was a little pitcher with the rim broke off there but I'm really not sure what it was. I, I guess it was like a toothbrush holder, maybe. You know, it had a drain in the bottom there. The only thing I'm thinking, maybe it sat on something. A drain for toothbrushes, perhaps? So, alright, if anybody has a good guess on that, let me know. I should know what that is, but it's got uh, part of the rim broken off, but you see the other part probably was looked just like that. But, anyhow, that was interesting. <clears throat> this was one of the stranger things <clears throat> that I dug. It's like real heavy, like stone. And on one side, it's got a Maltese cross, and it says soft coal on it. And on the other side, it says 83 Sterling Company. Isn't that strange? Not really sure what that was. Anybody got any idea on that? I don't know if that was one of them things you heat up. It was like a to be heated like in a stove or something stove related item I don't know I have to figure that out I thought that was named though soft coal but all right little ink bottle Sanford's on that one this bay back here getting her something to drink she's thirsty <laughs> bay you want to say hi let's say hi to everybody he says, hi, up. she's going to go outside. All right, good girl. All right, and William Warner and Company Laboratories, Philadelphia, St. Louis. Nice old hand-blown medicine bottle. There's an Ironstone coffee cup. Nice one. Hoster, Columbus, Ohio, blob top beer. A wine bottle, it's green. 
but it does have some nice iridescence on it and you can see kind of pretty I like them ones with iridescence being in the ground probably could clean it up better but I just kind of like that iridescence another blob top beer which is fairly common McAvoy Brew Company Malt Marrow Chicago nice embossing on the bottom blob top bottle yeah, Clinton bottling company got an aqua one got a clear one back here the amber liquor bottle I dug it had a whole bunch of little small bubbles can't hardly see them now but anyway it's a nice bubbly glass just an amber liquor bottle Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound well yeah, just a few other little things oh yeah I've got this um, Indian head penny and it is dated 1904 I thought that's what it was and Paul checked it out and said it was 1904 another little bottle with some kind of pretty iridescence on it just a little plain medicine kind of a nice shape there almost like a maltine bottle a couple lids that's a real pretty one there with some flowers on it probably a lid to like a sugar bowl maybe lid to a lightning jar it's got patent dates on the top a common jar a little enema tip, there's a little glass dropper a lid to a cigar jar, this was from last time too it's just that round uh, drainer and a couple jars, a weird jar, didn't get the lid to it but we've dug them before nice western stoneware um, jug there and a white jug we saw come out of the ground so Anyway, that was about it. Nothing exciting, but it was a fun dig. It was nice to get out with Paul, and we got more digs coming up, so I think uh, Chris and I are going to be digging this next week. We're going to plan to get out, so I don't know. Maybe if this weekend, if Shelly wants to get out and do something, we might, so we'll just see. The weather's fixing to get bad here, but we want to thank all of you for watching. Thank you for your thoughts and your prayers, and Keep praying for our country and the uh, situation over there in Ukraine. Pray for all them people. Man, I just feel sorry for them. So much going on. We have so much to be thankful for here in, in the United States. You know, place of peace and we got plenty to eat. And there's an awful lot of people that are hurting though and homeless. And, you know, a lot of people have died during COVID. And let's just keep everybody in our prayers and our thoughts. And God has just been so good to us as a country. And so... Let's not ever forget that. But thank you for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you want to. And we always like hearing from you. I'll leave our email address here at the end. So Shelly should be back in the saddle here real soon. So hopefully you'll see her. But we appreciate all of you. And we'll see you in the next video.